nothing too major, but it'll be nice to actually see this equipment put into use and actually recover oil. The ship has a massive pump, which sits on the water and skims the oil into a huge bladder, which the oak tows alongside. The skimmer itself is, is pretty simple. It's called a weir skimmer. Only the very top surface of the water, where the oil is, is allowed to spill over inside. And at the bottom of that dish is a little container uh, that, that grabs the oil. It gets pumped out through a tube, across the, uh, the ship's deck, and into the bladder, which will hold all that oil. This is the first time they have used the oak to clear oil. But pressure for results is growing as the deep water oil spill continues to dominate international headlines. Meanwhile, 42,000 gallons of oil a day escaping into the Gulf of Mexico. It's already formed a slick measuring hundreds of square miles. And as the oil moves towards the coast, it's threatening marshes, beaches, and wildlife in four states. The Coast Guard are now at the focal point of the world's growing concern that this disaster is becoming uncontainable. We call this press conference as we have every day to give you the latest information on the Deepwater Horizon incident. The world is also monitoring the oil industry's efforts to stop the flow of oil from the seabed. No one knows exactly how much oil is spewing into the Gulf Basin but within a few days, it's estimated to be as much as a million liters a day. As the spill continues unstemmed, NASA satellites reveal a giant slick the size of Jamaica. Thousands of rescue workers are attacking the oil on all fronts, using planes to drop dispersal agents, burning it, and putting out booms around the coastline to protect the wildlife and beaches, while engineers keep working a mile below the surface to try and cap the flow. 30 miles from shore, the crew of the Oak see firsthand how the oil has started to affect the diverse range of creatures that live in the sea. So, took a sharp turn to port so that we didn't, didn't kill a little turtle. We're out here to save the environment, so if we catch a turtle in the process of saving the environment, I guess we're not really doing our job. The oak skimmer sucks up 100,000 liters of crude before the bladder they store it in is full. It's then loaded onto a supply vessel and taken back to shore to be safely disposed of. The contents of that first bladder, once refined, are enough to fill the fuel tanks of a thousand cars. But as the slick migrates towards the coast, rescue vessels like the Oak struggle to keep the oil at sea, where they hope, perhaps in vain, to collect it. In the first four weeks after the disaster, the Oak has collected over a million liters of crude oil. In the 10 weeks since the Deepwater Horizon exploded and sank, the slick has become the largest offshore oil spill in American history. The disaster has touched many millions of lives and threatened or damaged mile after mile of coastline, and it's still spewing tens of thousands of barrels a day. By the end of June, over 6,000 boats and around 100 aircraft are battling the slick. 36,000 people are fighting to contain it. No efforts have been successful in fully capping the well. And BP have recently promised the US people that they will deliver a cleanup program that will cost more than $20 billion and last more than a generation. We have a whole host of Hollywood A-listers for you next tonight on Five. Samuel L. Jackson, Eva Mendes and Ed Harris star in our movie premiere of the crime thriller Cleaner.